Well, many high school graduates are heading off to college soon, and for many of them, it'll be the first time they're in charge of their own finances. So how can parents help? Well, we're joined by a financial professional, Wendy Maychak of the Binnacle Group. She's here with some tips to help make that transition as smooth as possible. Thank you so much Thank for, you for, having for me. joining us. So what are some of the common mistakes? I mean, if we're trying to uh, help them avoid the mistakes, what are some of the pitfalls they should look out for? Some of the things that people need to look at is when they're raising their children that is start teaching them what a budget is mm -hmm. early on. Early, yeah. And then getting them to stick to it as they're older and getting ready to go into college. When they do that, they're going to understand I have X amount of dollars to spend over this period of time and I need to have a little cushion. And that's hard for some people, but if you get a budget and get it set up and work with your child or student, it'll really help them out a lot in the future. And the kids are in charge of their own finances, but that money may still come from mom and dad. Should mom and dad give them the money sort of like as a lump sum, here's your money for the semester, and allow them? Or should mom and dad do the budgeting and like here's a little bit this week or this month, sort of dole it out in, in smaller incre increments? It depends on your child. Uh, a lot of parents like to monitor what their children are spending and giving them a little bit of leeway to kind of learn along the way, but also sit back and go, okay, this is what you have, this is what you have to spend, because we know you're gonna wanna have a little fun and you know, be entertained and that but you need to make sure that what you give them is not excessive. Now, how do people handle, and this would include parents, unexpected expenses? We all think, okay, we have a budget, this is how much college costs, but there are some other fees and costs that you may not be a parent. A lot of times you talk to your friends and family. The reason you do that is they're the ones that are gonna be most honest with you. The one question you can ask is, what did you see that came up financially that really caused us caused your budget to change mm -hmm. and they'll tell you you know um, a lot of people will change their major in college mm -hmm. so they may be taking additional courses that right. weren't budgeted in or they may do things like international studies when they go over to europe or to asia and study the fees are going to be a little more there's going to be more things you want to do because you're going to want to travel while you're in those places and then you as a family are going to want to go visit your student there. So you want to make sure you budget in for those types of things if you think that's an, uh, an option for your child. Now if someone at home is going, oh my goodness, these are things that I haven't really considered, how can they get a hold of you to walk through some of these issues? Um, we have an office in Troy and they can call us at any time at 800-485-0554 and we can sit down with them and talk about what they need to do and even talk to their child and explain that this is a big responsibility and your parents are really trying to help you. Wendy Maycheck with the Binnacle Group, thank you so thank much. You. Really appreciate it.